Germany has extended its partial lockdown for at least three weeks until right before Christmas as the country struggles to control the spread of the virus. The measures that were put in place on October 28th will be continued, firstly until December 20th, and we're expecting, and this is something that the states and federal government are in agreement on, that because of the very high infection numbers, the restrictions will have to be in place until the start of January. Let's get more with our reporter Maria Tadeo in Brussels. Maria, good morning. A marathon session then for Angela Merkel in negotiation, in talks with those state leaders. What has now been agreed? Yes, Anna, and it's a marathon session because it lasted for almost seven hours. And we heard from a very cautious Angela Merkel repeat this message that Christmas doesn't mean that coronavirus has gone away and that this is really not the time to lift some restrictions. And in fact, what the Germans are doing now is extend that light lockdown that sees restaurants and hospitalities being shut until December 20th. There will be some exceptions for Christmas, but as you played in that uh, video there, Angela Merkel is also now very much hinting that the restrictions will go into January 2020. What I would also note is that uh, it goes very much in line with uh, what we heard from Ursula von der Leyen yesterday at the European Parliament insisting that there is a very real risk that we could see a third wave and also reminding Europeans that perhaps opening up too quickly like we did in the summer may have led to the second wave. So really this is not the time to go all out. What I would also note is that it is a very different approach to what we're seeing in other countries where there is a clear uh, aim and a clear your goal to reopen, to gear up, to reopen uh, for Christmas. I'm thinking countries like Italy, France, Spain that have said they do want to see a pickup in business activity because of just how crucial this time of the year is for some industries and businesses. Yeah, it's really interesting and rather difficult to compare, isn't it? The contrasting approaches here, Maria, because as, we, as we've been through lockdown too in some parts of Europe, talking about lifting those measures, you know, maybe they were tougher in the first place than what came in in Germany the second time around and maybe Germany just doing those measures for longer, but at a lower level, it's interesting to compare the impact. Let's leave that one there for the moment. No doubt we'll come back to it. Let's ask, I want to ask you about the Italy story we're covering this morning. Italy floating the idea of debt forgiveness. Any chance that this is going to be well received at all at the ECB? And uh, this is a great story that we have uh, on Bloomberg today. And to answer your question, I would say uh, no, purely because uh, to cancel debt, uh, it's just not in the European treaties. And that's what we've heard from the European Central Bank repeated many times. The Italians have floated this, by the way, uh, a number of times already. What's interesting is that it's now coming from an aide, from someone that is in government. What I would also note is that this idea to cancel debt or just not, not repay it because you extend the maturity so long in time that essentially you're never going to pay it back. It's, it's a debate that does make Berlin and Brussels nervous. I've always said the best way to deal with uh, debt sustainability is to be fiscally responsible. But there's a, a logic to this, and there's a reason why the Italians are floating this. Once again, they're concerned about the impact that coronavirus is going to have on the debt to GDP. They worry about uh, emerging from this crisis with a huge debt pile, and they're putting out this idea. What I would say, it's, it's not the first time we hear this from Italy. It's never really turned into results, and it's always been, uh, I would say, uh, responded to with a big no from the European Central Bank. There's no reason to, to believe at this point that the answer would change this time around either.